let me mention that we are extremely happy to be associated with this consultation come workshop on children and women issues and community radio organized by people studies lara ko Uh, this workshop has really helped brought community radio stations which are active in Tamil Nadu and Kerala with a view to building their capacities by sharing best practices and professional experiences on issues related to women and children and also to create a network to address issues related to future growth and sustainability of community radio stations situation for better so, so that's very laudable objective and the second objective which i could hear from you has been again to to create some kind of a regional network forum where we, you could use these experiences for wide scale replication and also address issues related to sustainability of of community radio stations So by and large, I think all these objectives have been largely addressed and achieved, and the methodology adopted for achieving these objectives have also been has also been appropriate and in tune with the recommended concepts of program production under community radio. It was a phased uh, the activities divided into two phases. The first phase consisted of sharing experiences and best practices, you know. <laughs> professional uh, exchanges uh, knowing the situation of women and children and uh, other issues their own resource inventory analysis and then the second part the second phase last three days we utilize your experiences gained in the first phase to design program content and i'm also been told that in the third phase which is the follow up phase in future we would like to see the extent to which the initiatives decided in this workshop the recommendations you know arrived at the workshop so when you implement it and how you are going to maintain the momentum for community radio station and also you know how you are going to create that particular regional network forum for wider replication of the programs which you have been able to design in this workshop committee a radio launched by a multimedia research department of anna university way back in i think sometimes in october 2004 there after as you know the scope of community radio got expanded to include civil societies organization and the first licensed community radio that went on air in 2008 was located in 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 uh, 
famous, you know, that Pastapur declaration, that Pastapur village in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in the Medan district of Andhra Pradesh. Now, the government of India recognized the strength of community radios through its guidelines issued in 2000, 2002, and then later on got modified in 2006. But in the realm of community media, there are wide gaps between policies and, and, uh, and practice. Uh, communities from, from the media dark regions of the country hmm, still continue to struggle to voice their concerns about the local issues and also to get relevant information for their community. All India Radio, you know, uh, that's the top layer of radio coverage because it happens to be uh, the public sector broadcast system. The second layer is FM radio, but this radio also is is driven by entertainment and and commercial uh, <coughs> concerns. The third layer, we must understand. The third layer is what community radio is, which is closest to the people, not for profit, and community empowering. <coughs> by sharing information on locally relevant issues. Now that is very important and somehow, I mean, when I, when I was listening to your, uh, to your feedback, this anger was not properly highlighted. The main feature, the main hallmark of community media is that it's got to be empowering to the community. One case where the, the communicator or the receiver or the channel, everything is the man from the community or the woman from the 